Hey, hello friends. I am Shubham, and in this video, I am going to show you how to convert the blog or website into an app. This is very easy guy to convert the blog or website into an app. So let's start the video. First, download the Android Studio and install it on your PC. Now open the Android Studio. Click on File, New, and then New Project. Now type your application name. So I am typing here as um, YG Technical. You can type your application name and click on Next. Now select your API level and the API level decides on which Android versions your application is going to be work. So my application is working on 4.2 plus Android versions. Then click on Next. Select Time to Activity and click on Next. Ok, finish. Now it starts the Gradle. Gradle takes some time so I will skip the video. Ok, now Gradle is almost finished. Yeah, it's finished so here is here are the two files main activity main and main activity dot java so the main activity dot java contains the backend code of our program and activity main dot xml contains the design of our program so the activity main dot xml file is written in xml language and the main activity dot java file written is in java language so remove this text view from the activity main dot xml and change the layout to the relative layout So I am typing here as a relative layout. Ok now we need to choose the web view. So click on the widgets and uh, just drop, uh, drag and drop web view on the design. And just remove these lines. Now we need to pass uh, the id to our web view. So just type id and uh, give id as a web view. You can choose ID as per your wish. We only need a web view for running our uh, blogs or websites. Even you can uh, add the progress bar into it. But I don't need so I am not typing. Now go to the main java and create one object of a web view. So I am creating an object of a web view as a my web view. So here is the object. Now we need to add some lines in the functions for running our applications. So first of all we can find the id of this. So for finding the id just type my web view, web view find you by id and r.id.webview. dot web view. We are passing this web view from the activity main dot xml. We are already passed the id as web view. So I am typing r.id as a web view. And that r contains the resources. So now we can get the settings. For getting the settings type web settings. Create one object of web settings as a web settings. And, uh, this is the code. Now we can enable the JavaScript on our web page by using web settings and uh, type it true. So it will enable the JavaScript on our web page. Now the main part is the uh, URL of our website, right? So load the URL. So here is my blog, YGS Technical. So just copy the URL of our your website or blog and uh, paste it into here. Now we can load our website into it. Now type uh, my web view dot uh, set web view client and uh, create a new web view client. And uh, this is the overall code for opening the app. Now the second thing is the back brace button function. So now we can uh, write the code for a back brace button. So just uh, right click, click on generate, override methods and we can override the methods of on back press too. Ok now click on ok button. Now we need to write the if else condition for this. So if my web view dot can go back means I am on the web page and I am pressing the back button then I can go to the previous web page not on the home. And in else condition if I am on the last web page then I can copy this code super dot on back press so it will go on to the home. Home means home screen of our phone. So this is the overall code for a back button. Okay, everything is done. Here are some of the libraries 
which are automatically generated by writing our below course so these are the web settings web view and a web view client as we are writing the code below it will automatically import the libraries now we need to add an internet permission to an app so for uh, adding the internet permission go to the manifest and open the android manifest.xml and uh, write this code so it will add the internet permission into an android device because we need an internet uh, access for accessing our web pages this is the overall code in android studio for converting the blocks or website into an app if you want to add anything extra then go to the resources folder in draw in drawable we can add the images and in uh, min map ic launcher we can uh, add the launcher of our application now you can debug it into android terminator or uh, android your android device for building the pk just click on build and then build apks so it will start to build apks now click on locate and copy this app debug.apk file into your internal storage and install the apk now i'm going to install the app here is our app debug.apk just install it ok now install do. open sorry i am not enabled my internet data let me enable the mobile data and open the app again and our blog is open in app the ui of our app blog is the same as blog now we can open one post Now whenever we are pressing the back button it will go, it will go to the home page and uh, when we are on home page and pressing the back button it will exit. So thanks for watching my video if you like my video do like share subscribe.